Hello, my name is Amanda Love and I'm also known as the Barefoot Cook. I've been a natural food chef, nutrition educator, and holistic lifestyle consultant for over 10 years. Throughout this time, I've met with many people who have sought to improve their health. By guiding people back to wholesome nourishing foods and towards a healthier lifestyle, I witness many people regain their health and enjoy life more fully. All along, I've been on a quest to find foods that can truly help people to become healthier. I have found many answers by looking back to the diets of our ancestors. They ate many foods that we've all but forgotten about today. If you go back in history, you'll find that almost every culture ate some kind of fermented food. Fermentation, also known as culturing, is an ancient technique that has been used to preserve food naturally, to make it last through the winter, or for other reasons of necessity. In fact, the first trace of fermentation, alcoholic fermentation, started 7,000 years ago in Babylon, but for today's purposes, we will focus on vegetable fermentation. The first written record of vegetable fermentation have been reported under the Chu Dynasty between the years of 1126 and 256 BC. In China, these vegetables were used to feed workers building the Great Wall of China. Kimchi, made from Napa cabbage, is a national dish of Korea. It dates back nearly 3,000 years and is eaten with almost every meal. In Europe, Germans are famous for making sauerkraut and to this day consume it regularly. Many other Eastern European countries also make fermented vegetables such as pickled beets, carrots, garlic, cucumbers, and more. In India, they've been making chutneys and condiments for centuries to preserve their fruits and vegetables. The Japanese have been pickling and fermenting for centuries as well. Captain Cook brought sauerkraut aboard his ships to keep his sailors from getting scurvy as the sauerkraut supplied them with vitamin C. These are just a few examples of the many different kinds of fermented vegetables made by our ancestors throughout history. It turns out that our ancestors were very wise and knew that if they preserved their food with fermentation, they would be able to make it last longer. Additionally, they also gained many health benefits from this process. I have witnessed many people's health improve dramatically with the introduction of fermented foods into their diet. Fermented foods are among some of the most truly healing foods. And now it is my mission to revive this tradition by bringing it back into our everyday diet. Not all commercially available fermented foods are the same though. Even the homemade kinds can vary widely in quality. And that's why I'm here, to introduce you to Caldwell's Fermented Vegetables and Starter. Caldwell Biofermentation Canada produce fermented vegetables that I feel are superior in quality and essential to any healthy lifestyle. Amazingly, simply fermenting food improves the nutritive value while eliminating toxins, allergens, and harmful bacteria. The lactic bacteria, which produce lactic and acetic acid, have the following important benefits. They stimulate the immune system and help protect the body against infections. They improve the digestion process by regulating the level of acidity in the digestive tract and by stimulating the production of beneficial intestinal flora. They act as an antioxidant and are recommended for the prevention of cancer. They facilitate the synthesis of certain vitamins, such as vitamin C and B12, they have a soothing effect on the nervous system. They facilitate the breakdown of proteins and therefore their assimilation. And they inhibit the growth of yeast like candida. No other fermented vegetable products on the market have been made with this special starter, resulting in a product that is not as rich in the beneficial lactic bacteria. And now to introduce you to Caldwell's line of fermented vegetables. We have good old fashioned red cabbage, fiddlehead ferns, sliced carrots, black radish, Daikon with ginger, grated beets, grated carrots, ripened kimchi, and good old fashioned sauerkraut. And for those of you that are interested in making your own batch of fermented vegetables at home, Caldwell has created a fermented vegetable starter to help you culture your own veggies. In this box come six sachets of starter. With each sachet, you can ferment two kilograms or 4.4 pounds of vegetables. But with spontaneous fermentation, you are taking your chances. You might not always have a successful batch because you can never be sure there are enough naturally occurring lactic bacteria on the vegetables to ferment. And there will surely not be enough lactic acid to neutralize and crowd out pathogens, E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. Realizing they would never have reliable or consistent batches of fermented vegetables, Caldwell and Agri-Food Canada decided to come up with a starter that crowds out and inhibits harmful yeast and bacteria. 
I hope you understand the importance of using this starter to make the very best quality and healthiest fermented vegetables possible. We know of no other product that can accomplish these specific results. And now I'll demonstrate how to make your own fermented vegetables at home. Ingredients you will need, two large heads of cabbage, one pouch of Caldwell starter, three tablespoons of sea salt, and three cups of filtered water. You may also include some optional spices such as caraway, juniper seeds, cloves, cumin, tarragon, or anything else of your choice. For equipment, you'll need a cutting board and knife or a food processor, a container for fermenting such as a large mason jar, crock or plastic tub with an airtight lid, and three mixing bowls, one large and two small. To make your sauerkraut, simply discard the outer leaves of the cabbage and remove the core, and then shred the cabbage into thin slices. By now you should have a bowl full of shredded cabbage. Dissolve the pouch of culture in a cup of room temperature water and let it sit for 10 minutes. This step will activate the starter. Then dissolve three tablespoons of sea salt and two cups of room temperature water. It's important that you use fine salt so it dissolves properly. Now add the culture and salted water to the shredded cabbage and mix well for 10 minutes using your hands or a spoon. Place the mixture in your container and pack down well. Allow the juice to cover the shredded cabbage. Place your container in a dim area at room temperature, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius, and let sit for seven to 10 days to adequately ferment. This time is required for bacteria from the starter to grow, transform sugars from the cabbage into organic acids, and produce healthy components. Seal the lid and move the container in a refrigerator or in a cool room for the curing period. After six to eight weeks, your cured sauerkraut will look something like this. Bon appétit! I hope this demonstration has inspired you to make your own tasty and healthful fermented vegetables at home. As you have seen, it only takes a few minutes, yet the rewards last a lifetime. Please visit Caldwell's website, www.caldwellbiofermentation.com and mine too, www.thebarefootcook.com to learn more about the benefits of lacto-fermentation. On these websites, you can order the starter, the salt, and the full range of Caldwell's delicious fermented vegetables for direct delivery to your home. Take control of your health and make fermented vegetables.